Hello. I made a video a while ago about SSRIs and how SSRIs, if you don't know what they are, serotonin reuptake inhibitor, inhibitors or something like that. Uh, but basically it's things like Zoloft uh, where, or Paxil. Uh, these are drugs that are good to help people with who have problems with depression or anxiety. And I, I wanted to make a, a video about dealing with some of the mental or emotional effects that people get from tinnitus, but I wouldn't want to limit it to only tinnitus because I think this information is helpful to a lot of people who have some uh, mental problems, uh, perhaps arising from tinnitus. Um, so in the, in, the, in the video I made, uh, it's, it's something about uh, tapering off Zoloft. Uh, 12.5 uh, milligrams at a time maybe and um, you know when we get into some very difficult situation where we suddenly have tinnitus or maybe something happened to our heart uh, and uh, we have some and our body can do some really weird things to us that makes us suddenly mm, be in a mental state that we're not used to and then mentally we freak out and uh, we have trouble coping and so then what happens next is we are prescribed some uh, mind drugs <laughs> such as SR SSRIs like Zoloft or maybe uh, I can't always get the terminology there's things like Ativan and Xanax which are more for short term, uh, but they help to relieve anxiety, and even some sleeping drugs. Uh, you know, if you have tinnitus, uh, you, you might be prescribed some drug. Uh, like I, I took um, Seroquel, uh, or, and uh, it, it it helps you to fall asleep. And this drug is also used in higher doses for people who have bipolar or even schizophrenia. So there's a whole like slew of uh, mental health drugs that people get prescribed. And uh, I think, you know, I, I didn't believe it at first, but I think they actually can be quite helpful. Uh, but there are side effects there are, and everybody's experience isn't always the same. There is risk that it might not work for you. Like, you know, it works for other people. <laughs> uh, but I think in a large number of cases, if used appropriately, some of these drugs can be quite helpful and just getting someone from a place of being in a really bad spot to being able to cope a little bit and then start dealing with the, the, the problems uh, such that they would not need to take this medication. So uh, there may be some people who uh, have such extreme trauma in their life that they may need to take medication for the rest of their life. I would like to think that there's really no such person if they were to get the right information, the right help to, 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 you know, to improve their, their thinking. I, I believe this is true. Uh, there, there, but there are some people who are extreme, in extreme situations and sometimes they may need to take it for an extended period. But I think in the like I, I just repeating that maybe this really is not true if we can get the right information out there. So, sorry, I've done a lot of setup to talk about my topic today. <laughs> and that is basically about helping yourself and fi figuring out how to help yourself so that you don't need the SSRI or the other drug, so, so that you don't need to... Um, you don't need to pay a lot of money for counseling and, and, and psychotherapy and stuff. Um, and uh, you learn how to cope with your anxiety and, and make it go away better. So how do we do that? <laughs> so a lot of our about, you know, tinnitus, uh, this sound in our ear has, has such a, a close relationship with the, the solution to that problem <laughs> because um, we suddenly get this sound in our ear 
and it's really hard to cope with if you've never heard anything before and it's just constantly has this sound or whatever it is that you have and so so if you get it within a very short amount of time you find yourself not being able to sleep and having anxiety all, all the time and thinking about it all the time so you're you're you get reprogrammed in a in a real in a real fast uh, very quickly <laughs> into a, a not so good mental state so it's an interesting challenge because if you can fix the tinnitus the way you handle it you can fix a lot of other things too and that that actually is pretty exciting to me i'm 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 actually starting to think i'm so lucky <laughs> that i got tinnitus because yeah, i i actually realized that even before I had it, I had some problems with anxiety and didn't even really even know it. Mm -hmm. and a lot of times if you do have some problems with tinnitus or, or excuse me, with uh, anxiety, uh, you may not realize that it's a problem. You figure everybody has anxiety, which is true, you know. Uh, but something like tinnitus can actually lead you to learn about anxiety and how it works. Uh, it doesn't have to be tinnitus. It could be something else, you know, some... Some big trauma in your life uh, could be a, a death, a, a divorce, uh, some a rape, uh, uh, some violence. You know, all these things can suddenly cause a person to get into a, an emotional state that is is difficult to deal with. So, uh, sorry, I still haven't answered my my own question about how do we how do we change it. So, our thinking is tends to be in patterns. We, 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 we get into a certain routine or a habit and we think that way um, on a consistent basis. And as I said, the tinnitus, the trauma can uh, quickly program us into a pattern. I, 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 I can't stop thinking about this tinnitus. It's just always there. How do I stop? How do I stop? I can't sleep. And then this this cycle continues yeah so mm -hmm. we have to learn to change the pattern mm -hmm. and uh, in the beginning stages of tinnitus where we we're so freaked out by it you know it's it's tough but we, then we, we have to fight for those one minute two minutes five minutes of hey I didn't think about tinnitus <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'll think about anything else besides the tinnitus. I'm gonna, in my case, <laughs> I'm gonna write some Chinese for a while. I'm gonna copy Chinese characters from the, from uh, a website I found on the internet, and I'm gonna write them down. You know exactly what you know what I see on the internet. I'm just gonna keep writing. I'm gonna write a page and then another page, and I'm gonna. I know some of the time I'm gonna be thinking about every stroke I have to write for that character, and I'm gonna. Stop thinking about the tinnitus. So you see what I did there? I, I, I got my thinking onto something else. Um, I'm going to learn a dance routine. I'm going to I'm going to take a, a, an, an internet video where they teach me how to do a dance, and I'm going to figure out how to do that dance routine, and I'm going to keep working on it until I've got it, and then I'll perfect it more and more, and then I'll learn another dance routine. Yeah, um, I'm going to play chess. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to. Uh, keep playing chess until I can start to win more and more, you know, something like that. But anything that I can do to get my mind on something else. Now, um, that's just trying to get a, a hold of yourself when you're in a really bad state. Is is uh, you, You're going to decide to think about something and then think about that thing um, as much as you can and really get focused on that thing even though you've got the sound in your ear or whatever other trauma you've got yeah you're gonna think about that thing and uh, as I said for me it's kind of interesting huh? I write Chinese <laughs> um, I, I dance I'm gonna sing a song I'm gonna remember how to sing a song so I'll I'll, I'll I'll sing the first line, sing the first line, sing the first line. Okay, I remember the first line. The second line, the second line. I'm going to sing the first line and the second line together. Okay, I remember those. I'll keep going until I can sing the whole song. It doesn't matter if I sing well. I'm going to... Let me grab this one thing over here. Here's what I did before. I'm going to 
I'm going to draw. When I had the problem where I couldn't sleep, I drew a lot. <laughs> when I say a lot, this was only over, over, over several months, I drew all this. So, <laughs> you can see a bunch of, I'll, I'll just show you a few, I don't know which ones are good, which ones are bad, but I drew a lot of stuff. Cartoon characters. <laughs> this one's a funny one, it says, uh, it's wine o'clock, but at that time I couldn't drink wine <laughs> because I was taking a, an SSRI and it's not recommended, some funny things. But I drew, I drew hundreds of drawings and uh, I found things that I wanted to copy on the internet. Just drawings that I like from other artists and I copied their drawings. And I, I, it would usually take me at least a half an hour to draw one. And you know what, I'm gonna focus on drawing that drawing and I'm gonna get it drawn. And then I'm gonna draw another one. <laughs> But you know what I did is I, I wasn't thinking about the tinnitus and my mind settled down a little bit and then I was able to sleep a little bit better. But when you, for me, I was in a pattern where not only did I have anxiety, but it was so bad that then I couldn't sleep. So then I'm awake. So I had to, I had to somehow get a grip again and get a grip where I could think about something else. I could sleep <laughs> because with no sleep, the anxiety, the anxiety just continues and continues. So... That's what I did. So learning to be able to direct your thoughts onto something that you want to think about is so vitally important. And I've given you a lot of examples today, you know, about how to do that. From there, you start to get a little bit of a, of a foothold. You've got a grip now. And you say, you know what? I'm able to do this sometimes. I'm able to draw this sometimes. I'm able to dance a dance routine sometimes. I'm able to sing a song sometimes. I'm doing all these things and I'm directing my thoughts. I'm deciding what I'm going to think and I'm thinking that. And that's so powerful. When you can do that, then you can do more. <laughs> and you, then you can start scheduling it. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. And it starts to have a little bit more of a, a plan, you know, where, because I, now I'm working on some things with my business. I, I do software and uh, some hardware projects too. I've got, some, got a factory in China making something and then we're gonna put a bunch of hardware in some neighborhoods in Florida. <laughs> and uh, you know, I had to do a lot of concentration and focus to organize all that to get, it, you know, to get the project going. I've got some other projects too that, that, that are uh, making even more money. Uh, but it didn't happen because I was worried all day. It happened because I learned how to uh, focus my thoughts on something and what do you know I'm actually getting pretty successful now <laughs> and uh, thank you tinnitus I'm so happy that I got tinnitus because it it first just totally screwed up everything but then I was able to redesign my life and redesign how I focus on things and things are going really well so when something traumatic happened to you uh, I don't want to get into all my personal life, but I had some pretty traumatic things happen to me when I was in my teens uh, that uh, made me feel ashamed uh, that there was something wrong with me. But these are the things that can actually help us to become better people too, if we see it that way. Um, but we have to recognize the harmful patterns. Uh, that is always thinking about this thing and thinking about it as something that causes us to have a shortcoming. Let me say that again. So we have to identify the harmful patterns that we have where we're always thinking about this thing and we're seeing it as such that it makes us a weaker person that where there's something wrong with us that we have to fix yet we feel like we can't fix and then we become focused on that thing, always trying to fix it, always trying to find a solution, yet finding none and feeling hopeless, right? That's, what, that's how, how it works, feeling like we don't have any power. So there's this thing, it's right here, and it's right in front of us, and we can't, can't fix it, can we? So I'm going to put it in front of me here, but... <laughs> over here is the Chinese and we have to say oh 
I think I'll focus on that. The drawing. Ah, I think I'll draw something. <laughs> and suddenly we're not thinking about that thing that's been dominating our thoughts. And we start to be able to relax a little bit and we say, you know what? Uh, yeah, I do have tinnitus. But look what I wrote in Chinese. Look at these beautiful drawings. There's Harry Potter. <laughs> There's, a, there's another, I forget here, there's another one from Harry Potter, you know? Here's a Harry Potter, right? <laughs> Look at what I did, isn't that cool? Isn't that nice? So you could do that. I, I, I was not a very good artist. I think I got better because I, I had to. <laughs> I had to do anything but except think about the tinnitus, yeah? And uh, it works. So, you know, aside from all that, I mean, a lot of what I've been talking about is being able to be okay with yourself, being able to spend time with yourself and enjoy that time and do something you feel like it's worthwhile. And then, wow, you do it. <laughs> and then this thing that's been in front of you, you said, oh, wait, 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 I, c I can turn my head over here <laughs> and look at that over there. And then... Uh, 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 Suddenly my focus has changed. But when it's right here, it's like, oh my God, right? <laughs> you say, no, 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 no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this and put it right there. Oh, oh there's, my, there's my drawings. <laughs> and you got to keep working and repeating it over and over again. No, 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 no. Let's draw. <laughs> let's sing a song. Let's dance. <laughs> let's, let's, find, let's exercise and go for a walk. Call somebody on the phone. Uh, watch YouTube, <laughs> which is you're doing now. You know, but you got to keep trying to change that focus into what you want and you'll start to get better at it. And then you won't be talking about having a mental health problem. We all have some problems, you know, it's normal. But, you, you know, it won't be so, so, so extreme and you know, you'll be going on with your life again. So, yeah, I've got the sound. I'm going to turn off the... Turn off the, um, the fan that I play in the background. And I can hear the tinnitus, but I've got my notebook here, and I could just as well write for a while 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 the tinnitus is playing in the background, <laughs> and uh, I'll be fine, you know, because I I'm confident now in my ability to direct myself. Uh, just the same, it's it's kind of nice to have the fan in the background. It, it makes it a little easier to concentrate because I do have the sound, but. I can do anything I want to, or even if it's quiet now, uh, it doesn't bother me anymore. <laughs> so, okay, well, I think that's about it. Another thing, you know, when you're having anxiety, I wouldn't suggest getting too addicted to this, but there's the whatever you feel and you touch and you smell, um, and being able to get in touch with, with how this piece of chocolate feels. <laughs> and how it smells, mm, and how it's gonna taste, um, is another mental redirect, you know, to help. You, you can look at the things around and you're in the room. Maybe you should redesign your, your space so you have some things to look at that are visually appealing. And uh, it'll be serve as a reminder to you uh, about, you know, redirecting to, to the thing that you wanna think about. But I'm gonna have a piece of chocolate. Mm. It's nice. And what am I doing now? <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying the taste of the chocolate. I mean, at least for a moment. I didn't think about the tinnitus. You know, because the, the taste of the chocolates is really nice. Um, I don't think this method would work. <laughs> As something you could do all day, is it? Could it? <laughs> but it's just you know one more little thing. Uh, enjoying food, enjoying the smell, um, the taste. Um, so, anyways, I think I've I've talked for a long time, but I, I kind of liked the topic today, so I hope it'll be helpful to you. Um, and um, yeah, maybe maybe you, this method that I'm suggesting might be helpful to you to. Uh, improve your mental state and uh, don't 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 feel ashamed if if you have been in a 
in a mental state that is a little bit not as good as you'd like it to be. And we might go so far as to say you have some mental health problems. I, I did, you know, and I, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I think we all will have those at some point in our life. But, uh, you know, sometimes they say the, the, the first thing you have to do to solve a problem is to first be willing to recognize, okay, I've got a problem, right? And then you're going to say, okay, now what can I do about it? And I gave you a bunch of ways today I hope that will help you to, uh, to get your attention on something that's worth, worth, worth your while. And, um, you know, maybe you can write down these things. I have um, on my wall, I have some of, some of the art that I drew, and I also have some Chinese characters that I've been studying. I basically got some felt, uh, and I, I put the felt on the wall, and then I have uh, some Velcro on the back of those, and, and um, it sticks to the felt. So I can change my art or change what I'm studying. And, you know, it could, some, some days it might have my to-do list and um, yeah, just serve as a reminder of, I want to think about this, right? And then it'll help me to, um, oh, I, I, by the way, I just remembered, I forgot the tinnitus for a while while I was talking to you. I can hear it again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it'll serve as, but so, so maybe you, you can design some way, uh, it could be your bathroom mirror or above your bed, or you have a desk or a table in your, in the room, or you can go so far as to buy the felt cloth and the Velcro and change out what you put up to see. I think they have those little drawing boards with the, with the markers you could use too. And, you know, you just kind of design your, your thoughts and what you want to think about and keep changing it, you know, and, and, and finding ways to get your get your thoughts on, on the things that you want to think about. And you'll get better at it. That's, that's what I, I hope I've emphasized well. You'll, you'll improve this skill if you, if you work at it. But if you're in that really tough state, it, it, you're going to have to first get a grip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. And my friend's coming tonight. I just got a message. <sighs> okay. Well, that's it. Um, I'll see you next time. Uh, t uh, do your best to, to, to reach, reach for a little higher and a little higher. <laughs> see ya.